welcome back to the second episode of Sitting with Sis. This week we have Miss Wood returning and our special guest of honor, Sister Landry. So here we are again, <clears throat> sitting on the porch, sitting with Sis. First question, if you won the lottery, Sister Landry, what would be your first big splurge? There are many people that I, I, want, I would want to give it to right off the bat uh, because I always consider that I have everything that I could possibly want or need and I consider that about my religious sisters too so I wouldn't give it to them. So that's what I would do. <laughs> <Got a walk. laughs> All right. Because I, I consider, you see, that we all have everything we could possibly want or need from our society. Sis? I would... You can't um, have the same answer. I, I would give it away. Um, See? I would make sure that my, my two uh, sons would get something, uh, especially the one with six children. And um, I would also, with the rest of it, I would give it to... There's so many, so many, so many people in need. And I would check it out and find out who are the most needy. Miss Wood? How can I honestly follow this? Um, <laughs> because I want, my answer was going to be totally different. It had something to do with traveling. But what's wrong with that? Cars and, and, and jewelry. What's uh, wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. Eating well for the rest of my life. Um, however, I think certainly giving, giving, I, I mean, of course. How so many, many children do you have? I have three. Well, there, okay, get, there you go. Get a piece of it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what's next? Okay. <clears throat> if you could have dinner with anyone living or not living, who would it be? It's a hard one. Oh, well, I know who I would. I would have, I would have Jesus. Knew it. Of course, and and uh, he could invite his mother if he wanted. So it would be a, the three of us. And if God wanted to be in on it, that would be okay. I think that um, there's so many people. Um, Jesus would be one. But I think I would love to have um, Barack and Michelle Obama with them. Jesus. Again, my original answer in my mind was so trite. It was Oprah Winfrey. That's mine too! <laughs> What's wrong with that? Nothing's wrong with that. I'm sticking with Oprah. But I, if Jesus wanted to come. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> okay. Except that you know Oprah's story, right? Yeah. And you know her story. Okay. Yes. I would like to hear it from you. Now, there was one, that question was asked to the faculty one year, a long, long, long time ago. And one of the middle school teachers said she wanted to have uh, evening supper with the fellow who played 007. Oh, who was that? James, James Bond. Bond. Yeah, but who who played James oh, Bond? Oh, uh, uh, Pierce Brosnan or something? No. Yeah. Yeah. Who was the first one? Who was, was the... Who, uh, no, it was Sean Connery. Sean, Sean Connery. Connery. Oh, we have dinner with him, too. Put me down for him. <laughs> Oprah and Sean. We got martinis. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here we go. You notice I had to put on my sunglasses because of the other two. Because I just want to be cool. No. Right. What did you want to be when you uh, when you were a kid? I know what I can I can give this answer right now. I wanted to be a teacher. My grandmother was a teacher. My mother was a teacher. I am a teacher, and my son is a teacher. Sister Landry. Um. I think that I didn't know what I was going to do. And it continued on into college. Uh, so if they said what, and I remember asking uh, some of the freshmen in my class when I was in college, how do you know you want, it, you want to major in mathematics? 
and another one was going to get married soon. I said, how do you know that that's the one? So that I was absolutely far, far at sea without a power. And after my second year of college, however, because of all kinds of things that I finally came to understand as I aged and aged a lot, that I was going to try being a nun. I figured that I'd try it out. And actually, it made me very, very psychosomatically ill. <laughs> no! I did not see that coming. So, I figured, and when I was in the novice ship, there were about a hundred of us there. And every once in a while, you'd see some, some place at breakfast, and nobody was there. That means they had been sent away. And it was not told to us who it was and why they were sent. It was all a big mystery. And there I was struggling just to, to even try to understand what they were trying to tell me, because I wasn't a very religious person. In fact, when I was in college, I failed the test that they gave me in religion. I made something like 47. <laughs> and then two years later, I got accepted into the Society of the Sacred Heart, <laughs> yeah. which shows the kind of people they were taking us to. <laughs> okay, let's move on to Nicole. <laughs> but because we're shooting down. I survived. I survived. And I, I'm still here today, although many, many people didn't survive after that cut too. They said well, they're for, missing at breakfast. They, were they never said seen it yet. they said forget it, and they they said bye. Nice knowing you. Or maybe they didn't. Maybe they left in the middle of the night. <laughs> okay, Miss Wood. Wood. Well, ironically, I toyed with the idea of being a nun. Um, when I was very little, and then, but then I always wanted to be a mother so desperately. I always knew in my heart I wanted to be a mother, and that's what I feel like I am first and foremost. Still. Okay, what was your worst subject when you were in middle school? Mine were all of them. Oh, <laughs> terrible! <laughs> I mean, they were <laughs> math, science. I had I, not one of them was, was <laughs> religion. No, none of them. I loved religion always. I did. It's the only one I was good at. I was good. At, I had perfect attendance every year when I was wow, in uh, from first grade through twelfth grade in school. You showed I up. I had perfect attendance. That's amazing. Okay, that is. I always thought those people who had perfect attendance should be looked at by the medical profession. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe for the pandemic, they should be looked at closely. <laughs> That's a great idea. It's true, because there's something about their health. Either they came to school sick, their mothers made them come to school sick, or else they, they were never, they were never sick, you see? And some of these people, when they graduate from high school here, they haven't even been late for any class. They should be studied as they well. They should be studied as <laughs> Okay, what was your worst subject? Um, I remember in the middle school um, wanting to be quicker at mathematics. It's not that I didn't like mathematics. I liked mathematics. I liked all the subjects. But there were some that I liked that would, be, that would have been a better question for me. Some I liked better than others. Okay. Nicole? Well, I didn't like any of them either, except <laughs> religion, but I did like religion. <laughs> Social studies was okay. I always liked reading. But I, okay, the worst, I think the question was, what is the worst? Math and science, always the worst. <laughs> okay, this is a good one. What, uh, do you have any nicknames? Uh, how did you get it? I have more nicknames. <laughs> Mo, Sis, Mosley, Rini. Um, but when I was little, my uh, my uncle started this and he called me Shooty.
And so everybody called me Chudy. Now, I don't know where it came from. <laughs> I don't know what the origin Shooty. of that is, but I was Chudy. That's cute. Sister Landry? There was, there was a, a nickname given to me by three three students that I had at St. Charles, Missouri, which I will never, ever divulge. <laughs> what? <laughs> then there was, and when they call me on the phone, they still say, hi. So and so. We better find this out. Cliffhanger? <laughs> no, because then other people are going to pick it up and then throw it at me. Oh, okay. But I'm, I'm called Rain, Lorraine, Low, Marion Ramsey used to call me Low. Low. Um, hey, you. <laughs> that was from my brothers. <laughs> well, you reminded me of nicknames that I cannot repeat either that my Did brothers would say. Yes. Um, but other than that, I've got all kind of nicknames. Um, Neek. Uh, but I can't think of any more. Mom, oh, Bradley Gross in seventh grade calls me Miss Woody. Uh, that's about all. Mommy. Well, of course, Mommy, Mom. Oh, Nene. They call me Nene. Don't you ask see? me why. Uh, uh, Roby. That's my middle name. And one of my sisters always calls me that. It drives me crazy. Um, I don't know. That's about it. Okay, here we go. What made you laugh this week? This porch. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was my best laugh. Oh uh, yeah, I think this has been my best laugh this week too. I like, I like, uh, I like this. This is, this is, this is a keeper, by the way. Okay, now this is, um, this is the last question. Where is it? You made some good questions. Thank you. Um, you're the brains behind this office. <laughs> yes, she is. What was the one about what? Yeah. When I was going to give you. Um, I do want to uh, mention something um, that this is, it's not a question about it or what made you laugh. What touched me this week was uh, yesterday, uh, at least four of the girls that I know of came to school the seniors, and they just wanted to be in front of their school and by their school. Mm. And one of, they, they, they do this, they say, I guess they've been doing it for a couple of weeks now. They just go and sit in front of the school and just look at their school and mm. cry and just are so happy. But they just want to be inside of the school. And two of them this morning were sitting on top of their cars and they were just having a chat. Um, they were certainly distanced and they were so happy to see me that I thought they were gonna jump off the roof of their cars. <laughs> but they are just, they love their school. And I, I've never seen people love their school as much as these kids oh, love so school, cool. especially these seniors. So that was touching, very touching. So maybe that's a good thing to end with this week. Thank you, everyone, for the second official episode of Sitting with Sis. Yay.